News now uh, from Bengal and the center has asked for a report uh, from the Bengal government on the gang rape of a 72-year-old nun three days ago. Turning up the heat on Mamta Banerjee, the chief minister yesterday faced unprecedented protests at Ranaghat. Hundreds of students of the Jesus and Mary convent school, their parents and locals also blocked the chief minister's convoy. For almost an hour, all of them demanding justice for the nun. The angry chief minister claimed the BJP and CPM were behind the protests. And this morning, the Prime Minister's office uh, has also tweeted uh, on the matter and said the Prime Minister is deeply concerned about the incidents in Hisar, uh, Haryana and Nadia, West Bengal. The Prime Minister has asked for immediate report on facts and action taken regarding the incidents in Haryana and West Bengal. Now remember, in Haryana, an under-construction uh, church was vandalized. But first, uh, coming back uh, to the Bengal issue, let's go across to Monidipa. Moni, uh, the chief minister facing those protests yesterday. Now the centre asking for a report and also the, the, the state of the nun, if you could tell us about that. Well, the nun is in a stable condition. That's what we are hearing repeatedly from people associated with her, seeing her, meeting her in hospital. But that is the good news. The rest of it certainly doesn't look good for Mamta Banerjee at all. Behind me over here is the school and the convent where the incident happened. At this moment, all you have is one police vehicle posted over here. But here is the highway where trouble broke out for Mamta yesterday. National Highway 34. That's where she emerged uh, last evening after seeing the nun. And once she came out onto the main road, uh, that's when she found herself confronted with hundreds and hundreds of students, locals, and the students' guardians, all of them, you know, protesting, demanding justice for the nun and for themselves. Let me try and show you the spot where it happened, just beyond the car that is parked over there. That's where Mamta was stuck for 55 minutes at least, even as the Director General of Police tried to reason with the crowd and say, let her pass, let her pass. Priests climbed onto the bonnet of Mamta Banerjee's vehicle, a Z security, you know, chief minister. They climbed onto the top of her bonnet, uh, of her vehicle's bonnet, and asked the people to move away, move out. But no one was listening. They kept demanding justice, and Mamta Banerjee's angry reaction didn't help. What did she do? She stepped out of the car halfway, and then she took a mic and started saying things like, "This is a BJP CPM conspiracy. This is uh, not a genuine protest. This is something they have." engineered against me. Let's see how far they can go. I will not move. That's what happened and that enraged the crowd even further because there were children in the crowd holding up placards saying we don't want politics, we want justice. But from the word go, with the West Bengal government, with Mamta Banerjee, bringing in the Gharwapsi element into this whole incident of the rape of a 72-year-old nun, ever since then, the politics over it has started. The opposition has visited here, they have said angry words, issued deadlines, but Mamta Banerjee's response angered locals that's what we are being told they have called a 12-hour bund in this area today uh, called by the business community over here and in the evening there will be candlelight marches and why the anger no arrests in the case as yet